Hey guys, World's Playground here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to be showing you a video on how to jailbreak and well, jailbreak and downgrade your iPhone 4S, your iPad 2, and your iPad 3. Um, now, if you go to my description, you're going to see that for each device, whether it be the iPad 2, iPad 3, or the iPhone 4S, there's two firmwares you need to download. I'd recommend doing that now because that can take up to 15 minutes, depending on your internet connection. It will also include uh, uh, Red Snow for Windows and Macintosh. You'll need to download that as well. Um, and uh, you can see that I just got a card on my screen there. I'm just trying to cover up my serial number and my phone number. Uh, now, once you've downloaded the appropriate firmwares and you know the program, uh, you can actually go ahead and open up Red Snow. All right. Now uh, you can see right at the bottom there it says iPhone 4S 5.1.1. Now this jailbreak and downgrade will work for the iPhone 4S on firmware 5.1.1 and 5.1. It will also work for the iPad 2 with the same firmwares, 5.1.1 and 5.1, and the iPad 3 on 5.1.1. Now, if you have an iPad 3, that is 5.1, and if you have an iPad 2 and an iPhone 4S, that's firmware 5.0.1, when you open up Red Snow, you can actually just go to jailbreak it right away. You don't need to do the process I'm about to show you. But, if you're firmware 5.1 and 5.1.1 with the 4S and the iPad 2, or 5.1.1 on the iPad 3, you will need to do this process. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers out there. So the first thing I would recommend doing though is restoring your iPhone 4S um, or your iPad 2 to firmware 5.1.1 just to you know start off fresh with no issues and if you have an iPad 3 I would recommend doing the same thing to firmware 5.1.1. Alright so once you've downloaded the firmwares from the description and you've downloaded Red Snow we can go ahead and continue um, I have heard of a lot of people having issues using Red Snow with Windows, so I would recommend opening it up as an administrator. That's just when you right click and you click run as administrator at the top. I don't need to do that, um, but if you have any issues, I would recommend doing that. So with your phone plugged in, you will click extras, then you'll click down to even more, then you'll click to restore. Now at the top here it says IPSW, you run ahead and click that. Now uh, if you're running on the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S, you want to click firmware 5.0.1. Alright, and then enter. Now once you pick this, it will say um, because you want to restore to 5.0.1, you actually need to upgrade to 5.1.1. Now because we're already at 5.1.1, all we need to do is to click OK and then select that firmware. All right, now with this, it does restore or refresh your baseband. So if you've been preserving your baseband, you will lose it here. So unlocking won't be available for you until the dev team updates this. But if you've done the SAM unlock, which was available for about five days, uh, two weeks ago, it's no longer available, so you can't use it. But if you do have a SAM unlocked iPhone, iPad, or iPad 3, you will be able to keep it. It won't go away. All right, so now uh, you have your phone or your iPad in recovery mode. So it's just doing the, the spinning logo. And in a second here, you'll notice on your computer that your local and remote um, will become highlighted. You're going to go ahead and click remote under blobs. And what's going to happen now is it will put the 5.1.1 firmware back onto your device, and then it will downgrade it to 5.0.1. This process takes about up to five to seven minutes, so I'm just going to end the video and start it back up once it's all finished. Alright, so about five minutes later, it's all finished up. As you can see on the, uh, the pop-up, it just says that your device is now downgraded to 5.0.1, and if you have the iPad 3, it will say 5.1, and the uh, jailbreak is now compatible. So I just went on my phone and I finished the uh, activation, so I'm just going to start using iPhone. So now, as you can see, under settings, general, about, I am running 5.0.1. So it is downgraded. So now we can go ahead and just use Red Snow to jailbreak our device. So now we're going to go back to the very first page that we were on. So now it says the iPhone 4S 5.0.1, and we can jailbreak it. Now that comes up the first time every time, almost, for me anyway. Uh, 
So you just click back and then you do it again. So if you look on your iPhone now, it should have a pop-up. It should say jailbreak and um, then you can go ahead and click install. And then install now. And then in the top right hand corner you click next and then you'll click done. Now if you notice your computer will start doing something. Now, I'm using an iPhone 4 as my camera so it is a little shaky. Sorry about that. Alright, now it's telling you to go to your VPN settings on your iPhone. So just click the tab in the top left hand corner. It says general. Then you scroll down till you see network. It's not much scrolling. <laughs> and then, uh, then you go ahead to VPN. And then you just turn it on. And then it will say starting. And if you notice on your computer, it will say jailbreak successful here in a second. Alright, so it says the jailbreak was successful. You will get an error message on your iPhone but that's or iPad and that's normal so you'll notice here we'll put it in recovery mode and then it will just reboot and have the Cydia application put onto it so this will probably only take another 30 seconds so anyway guys you're all finished um, if you had any issues during the jailbreak um, and downgrade please uh, send me a message so I can try to diagnose it and uh, maybe put up another video um, you know kinda with the solution one thing I always recommend is to restore your iPhone or iPad to a, to a, a regular firmware and then redo the process it does make it uh, it does take out a lot of variables because you can run into errors just because of the firmware of your phone so anyway uh, I think we're all done here I just want to show you guys that it has Cydia should just be a sec here Here we go. And there it is. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, please send me a message. And uh, if you guys could, it'd be great if you could subscribe, you know, give me a thumbs up, maybe share the video. Anything you guys want to do would be great. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for some more videos, and, um, and I'm going to be coming up with a Q&A &A video uh, in the near future here. Anyway, see you guys.